everyone, it's Vicky. Today I'm going to be sewing some bags, some drawstring bags like this. And what you're going to need to start with is two rectangles of fabric. You need a outside fabric and an inside fabric. I am using that shower curtain fabric. And I'm just going to make sure that my writing is the right way. So you're going to sew your two rectangles together on the long side. Side pieces of fabric and we're going to join them together and you're going to sew from there all the way down to there and make sure that seam is on the outside so your inside looks nice and smooth So now what you're going to do from this position is you're just going to open it and make sure that seam is in the middle. Now we're going to sew across the top fabric. Okay. Now on the top there where the corner is, you're going to open it out and you're going to make it look like a triangle. Try and get that seam down the middle and on that triangle I'm going to use the end of my plates here as a measurement and I'm going to sew straight across that triangle and you'll see just now how it makes the bottom of the bag look. Okay, so there's the one, and now I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to just pull that out. You can see the triangle, you can see the seam down the middle, and I'm using my plates as a measurement so that I can get the same size corner on both corners of the bag. And if you've done it right, your corners should match. Right, so your corners should be the same size. Now you're going to get your scissors and you're just going to snip that and snip that one and trim any of these loose threads. You don't need those. Now we're going to go to the bottom of the bag. We need to leave an opening here where we can turn the bag inside out. So you're going to sew there, you're going to sew there, you're going to turn out your corners and you're going to leave that space in the middle so we can turn the bag inside out. that thread in between where the gap is and I'm going to turn out my corners quick and do those I did back stitch at the beginning and the end of those corner parts because they are going to get a bit of stress and now I'm going to turn the bag inside out and that gap I'm going to sew it closed 
and if you want you can use pins here just to hold it in I think I'm going to try and do it without pins even though my fabric's a bit slippery let's see And just trim any threads that you see trying to escape from the inside of the bag. Those were the ones on the edge. Okay, so now we've got the outside of the bag, the inside of the bag. You put the inside, inside the bag. <laughs> if you've left a little bit of extra fabric on the inside, you could turn it up like that and you could have a little white edge or whatever your inside fabric is you could have that edge showing mine doesn't have any space so I'm going to do a top stitch along that edge there so I'm putting the the inside on the inside the outside on the outside I'm doing a top stitch uh, on the edge and then I'm going to do another row of stitching up until that glass looking plates or that plastic plates on my sewing machine and then I do a third row of stitching up until the end of this metal plate so I do uh, three rows of stitching and I start at that back seam I'm not even going to trim the thread at this point. I'm just going to pull my fabric up. I'm lining it up to the edge of that plasticky glass looking plate and I'm going to sew another row of stitching. So now I'm just going to trim these threads that are the joining threads on the outside and on the inside. Now I've used two pieces of waterproof fabric so mine is going to be like a waterproof drawstring bag. You can use whatever fabrics you like. Now we're going to use some ribbon and we're going to make some drawstring ties and I usually just put like an inch on each side of the bag an inch on each side and then I double that over and that becomes my one drawstring and then I cut another piece the same length now we're going to take two of these I normally try to fold them over especially if my ribbon's a bit thin and put a safety pin through it now we're going to Find our two corners, our two edges, and just cut the first fabric, not both fabrics, just cut the one. So there, I hope you can see that. I've just cut a little slit into the top of the fabric. And I'm going to do the same with this side. And that will be enough 
for your safety pin to go through and you're just going to feed your safety pin through all the way around and I'll show you how I do it. You might get stuck at this join. If you get stuck, take your safety pin out and go from the other side. That normally helps. Oh, and that's the join that I was telling you that you need to make it line up because you want the outside to be on the outside and the inside to be on the inside. I'm going to go right past that opening there, back to the one where I started. And now you want to find which end matches which end. If you use two different colors, it would be easier. I normally just pull on one and see which one moves on the other side. And then I know that they are linked. You can also test by pulling two together on one side. And if nothing happens, you know you've got the same one. And I'm going to tie a knot on the one. I'm going to line the other two up. I'm going to tie a knot on the other two. Now you're going to go to that other side and you're just going to use a pin or something just to pull out your ribbons and you only need one so you can leave one behind and you can pull on one and just keep pulling it on one side until you feel the little knot come through. So I've got one, I've got one knot on that side and now I'm pulling on this one to get the other knot to the other side. Put one knot on each side and now my bag can pull closed or pull open. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you'll be making some drawstring bags. Your edges you can cut them at an angle Or you can burn them with a lighter. There you go, there's a drawstring bag, and this one, as I say, is waterproof. Thanks for watching, bye.